So YouTube, working out through garage. As you can see, I got some packages. Um, we got the flywheel, so I'm gonna put the flywheel on. I did got extra bolts uh, from ICT billet. So uh, these are the original ones that came with it. But I guess I just used the original ones and just uh, go from there and just keep these on the side. But yeah, I'm gonna put the flywheel on and we're just gonna go from there. All right guys, so we got the flywheel on. Now I'm finna put the bolts in, uh, finna put some uh, Loctite on it, and just go from there. All right guys, so I had to go to the store and pick up some stuff. Like every time you do something, you uh, will always need something, which is crazy, so yeah. All right guys, so we got the bolts on. It had red Loctite on there, but I still put blue on there too. Uh, just to uh, have it on there, but we have it loose, but not too tight or anything like that, so let's go. Guys, first pass, 15 foot pounds. So guys, second pass is 37, and then the last pass will be 47 pounds, and that would be it for the flywheel, and we will be moving on to the fuel line. So guys, I'm working on the fuel line. Um, I got the new uh, filter. Uh, we got some uh, 6AN fuel line and also got some uh, good old connectors. But the first thing first, um, I'm going to work on the supply line. Uh, as you can see, this is the supply line right here. It's the filter. Go through here and then out and up into the motor. So I'm going to disconnect right here and I'm going to put in the other fitting uh, right here. And then I'm going to put the fitting on top of there. And then we're going to make our line and all that little good stuff and just go from there. So guys, I got the vapor line done. As you can see, it's nicely mounted not going nowhere now i'm finna work on uh, the feed side i'm probably just gonna go from here all the way up towards that way and i think that will be it for tonight i think i'm gonna wrap it up um and then just resume tomorrow uh, Y'all can't see, but I unclipped the feed over there, and I'm going to check out our filter that we have. So I'm really excited. So we got the fl uh, flywheel done today. Um, we got the lines and all that drop. We got the vapor line done. So let's at least get one line done or something. So guys, as you can see, we got a line rand. So guys, we got the line ran. This could be like kind of mocked up, like so, like that, but it looked pretty damn good. Uh, tomorrow, if I get home at a good time, which I should, uh, I might end up going from here to our new uh, fuel filter, and then uh, to the tank. So, and I'm uh, gonna mock this up, sorta, of, kinda, of, but I might not, depending. What's up, YouTube? Auto 3 Garage, man, we are working on the turbo truck. As you can see, it got some blocks behind the wheel. As you can see, we got the old fuel lines right here. As you can see, we got tools all over the goddamn place. Man, I can't wait to get all this cleaned up. It look actually pretty clean out here. But anyway, guys, this is the fuel line 6 a.m. line. I was going to go with 8 a.m., but uh, I think felt like the six was probably uh, good enough and also we got a new fuel pump so i'm gonna put that in sometime but what i really 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 want to do is possibly get this done um but i'm just recording just a little bit so it's probably gonna be dark time when i get back in because i'm gonna watch something with somebody um and that's going to actually be pretty much it
So guys, what I want to do is hook up this return line to this male adapter right here, uh, all the way towards my fuel pump. And I can cut it to link and we go from there. So guys, before we do that, we do need uh, to put our fitting on. So guys, this is my fitting right here. Also use some uh, assembly lube. I just place it on here and then we go from there. And guys, just like that, we're gonna tighten her up. So guys, as you can see, have the supply line. If I can actually get it where I need to get it at. See if I can twist it on with my hands, guys. So guys, we got the lines done, as you can see. I made sure it was tight. Uh, now I'm finna go from this point underneath the truck. <laughs> so guys, we are back underneath the truck. Anyway, what I need to move next is this um, filter right here. Um, I need to get a fitting right here to go from here to this. This is the flex fill system. So I can have like E85, uh, another type of fuel. Um, yeah, we just need to get to them two right there. That's the supply line, I already got it loose. And then we need to get the return line uh, off from there. And I got it fitted, I got the fitting right here. So hopefully it fits, so fingers crossed. All right, guys, so we got the supply line and filter out the way. And now I am unbolting this because we're going to put our new filter like in this area somewhere. But anyway, we're making everything clear. So, guys, we are under the truck still. We have... The flex fuel sets are mocked up. We also have our fuel filter mocked up. As you can see, I can kind of move it here and there. We could have had the return line done completely and tied up neatly, but apparently the fitting I have was too big. So we need a smaller one, which is a 5 16 um, male quick disconnect. But anyway, for the supply side, um, for the supply side, we need to go from point A to B, and then from C to D, and then that would be it. Because from the fuel rail, we got both our lines done, but we just need to uh, connect over here. But y'all will see, um, it's pretty not rocket science. But we also have to do one more thing with the fuel system. So y'all stay tuned for another video sometime, which is going to be pretty dope. And I'm really excited to do it. But let's go ahead and get this done. Let's show y'all the aftermath. So guys, we got everything done. Well, temporarily. Uh, up top, I do need to tighten up um, this hose um, to the fitting just a hair more. Just to be more confident that we won't have any leaks, which we already know we're not. But um, I found out turning it clockwise, it brings uh, this hose all the way up towards the fitting and all that. So I had redid like everything to make sure everything was like snug and tight. But anyway, this is our setup temporarily. What I want to do uh, probably tomorrow, I would do it now, but I'm going to get in. It's about three in the morning. I would cut this plate. But right here so it could be like flush so I can get like a little more slack and then y'all will see um, you know this pretty uh, neat this is the vapor line right here um, 
So, uh, anyway, we got our filter. We got our fitting right here. This is nice and tight. And it go up, up there, nice and tight. Um, I'm gonna allow that to lay flat. Only thing we need is our fitting for the um, return line. But yeah, this is it right here. So I can see that. Yeah, go up like that. Come around. Yeah, it puts away. Then we got the return. So, I mean, once the fuel fuel side is done, then I want to move towards the transmission. So sometime this week, we might end up um, buying some fluid for the torque converter. Um, we're going to uh, use the one that came uh, with the um, transmission. Um, and then we're just going to go from there. Um, we got cross member. Only thing we gonna have to do is just change the yoke, which I have in the house. Um, and I think that's just pretty much it. Um, this 6 a.m. Um, I already pretty sure I mentioned that. Thought about going 8 a.m., but I think we'd be fine with this uh, little setup right here. A little more sleek and better. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. But it's not gonna be like this, guys. It's gonna be way neater. So, see y'all.